Okay, we want to determine the component form of this vector, and there's some information about the vector given its magnitude is 3. When drawn in standard position, it lies in quadrant 1 and makes a 45 degree angle. So I know this about it. This is 45, and I know the length of that is 3. So if we want its component form, what we want is this x and y breakdown. And so if you remember the conversion, that's great. And if you don't, you can look at the triangle and you can say cosine of 45 is adjacent over hypotenuse and then multiply by 3. And we've got the x component. And we are going to express it in this form. So we're going to actually work the cosine of 45. So we're going to write this as 3 square roots of 2 over 2 since the cosine of 45 is square root 2 over 2. Now we're going to do the same thing with the y and you can see it's going to be a similar thing because we're going to have the sine of 45 and that's going to be y over 3 and the 3 is going to come over here and so that's also going to be 3 square roots of 2 over 2. So there's the vector in its component form.